Ahoy and salutations, my name is Dark Dungeon, and welcome back to Grimm's Hollow. I think we're getting close to the end, so it shouldn't be long now. This is a red cave, okay. Hello, down the ladder? There's something here, so we'll grab that on up. Ugh, turn it down. Thank you. Okay, in here. Oh, shit, he's angered. Um, okay, fight. Flex. Oh, shit, that's not good. That's not good. Well, that didn't last long. Oh. A voice. La, la la. What? You don't, you don't feel fully rested. The ghost ran away. It couldn't do much. I'm sorry. Don't be, Timmy. It's not your fault. Okay. Right, because I don't have anyone to, to save me except for myself. Okay. What is this? Okay, there's that. 50 SE. Can I can I get these things? No. Okay. Okay, uh, we're just gonna die again. Uh-oh. Boom! Yeah. It's meant to be that way that I just die. Is that how this is? Okay. La la. Yeah, yeah. You don't feel fully rested? The ghost ran away. Sorry. Don't be to me. It's not your fault. It's never your fault. It's my fault for even getting into combat with them. Now. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Wait for him to go. Like that. Are you for real? Come on. This one I gotta do. Hey, Lala. What's that spark on its head? Dunno. Does, doesn't matter. If you say so. Okay. What is the spark on it? It's gone. Detonate. The go the, it was a bomb. It doesn't matter. It's a bomb. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Oh, shit. Um, it kind of does matter. How are we supposed to cross now? Relax, Lala. Relax. Your life is on the line. Yeah. Uh, duh. I, I, I know that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Timmy. It's okay. But, um... What if I didn't get it back? Can we at least spend our time together happily? Seriously, I can't handle this edgy atmosphere. I'll get your soul back. Just trust me. And I'll chill out. And I'll chill out for a bit. For you. Now, let's go find another way around. Indeed. Where is another way around? Um, through here? No. Need to find another path. Oh. That ghost went this way. What does it say? Beware of Burkadurgaburgadur. Indeed. The rest of it is covered in burn marks. Oh, okay. The other ghost went this way. Hey, Timmy. I've been thinking, you can come out for a bit, eh? I mean, you didn't have to stay inside there all the time. Yes! Hold on. There's still some rules. You are not allowed to come out when I'm fighting or when someone else is around, including ghosts. Got it? Hmm, got it. You can now talk to Timmy. Open your pockets. Okay. I don't know why I'd want to talk to him, but... Well, this is really weird. Um, what... Oh, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Well, passed out again. La la. You gotta stop doing that. You gotta stop passing out. The ghost ran away. I couldn't do much. I'm sorry. Don't be Timmy. It's not your fault. Again. Indeed. La la. You gotta stop passing out. Where am I now? Down here we go. I did. 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 Ah, damn. I meant to just keep dying, aren't I? This is cool, though. Boom! <laughs> nice. Spooky hookie. La la. La la. Ululu. Ah ha ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, he didn't go in that door up there. Damn. He's guarding something. Why? I, I have a feeling it's hidden doors. Ooh. They're all on a chase. They're on a run. Oh, shit. What's going on? Yo, bro! What's going on, Timmy? I can see a path below, but how am I supposed to get, get there? Th there's no way I can handle that many ghosts at once. Let's just wait a couple of minutes, and then we'll go. It'll be gone. They're moving out, see? Probably because people are coming. And if they're not gone, we'll find a way. Besides, it'd be good for you to just rest a minute. You look exhausted. Ah, uh, do I? Sorry. Alright, we'll rest. We'll take a quick nap, rest our eyes up, drink some drink, and... Do you remember Dad? Hmm? Oh, that's cool. Dad, I've been thinking about him recently, ever since we came here. I remember he had a, we had a dad, but my memory's kind of foggy. It doesn't feel the same. He was nice, smiled a lot. You were too young. Don't say that like it's my fault. No. It isn't. <clears throat> Having you around made things a lot more bearable. I really loved Dad. I loved Mom, too. But towards the end, they used to fight a lot about money. He got stressed really easily. He got... He had already had bad health conditions, but the arguments made it worse. And then eventually, it got fatal. Fatal? As in, deathly. They had already stopped fighting at the, that point, but he had passed away anyway. We should have been together when he died. But Mom withdrew, in, with, Mom withdrew into herself. I think at the time I sort of blamed her in a way. For the fights and the withdrawing. Even though I knew it was unfair of me to do so. After all, some of the fights were on Dad too, right? I don't know. To be honest, I think the thing I hate the most about seeing parents argue is that you feel like you have to take a side. Yeah, that sucks. I'm glad that at least you don't have to experience that, Timmy. My little bro. Things got hard for a while. Mom didn't do chores. Then we needed money because our insurance. Oh wait, I forgot. You don't know what that is. Never mind. Anyways. <clears throat> Mom wasn't home a lot, so I learned to do a lot of things by myself. Groceries, dishes, laundry. I had to search a lot of it up. I was al I was alone a lot. Or I would have been. You were home. You were young and confused, so you didn't really understand what was going on. You were unaffected. When I was done, finished my homework, finished my chores, I played with you. You were the only normal thing. Then Mom finally managed to stay home a bit once things settled down, and you made her smile a lot, but things were left unsaid between us. We weren't as close as what we used to be. That's sad. Damn. Why did you tell me all that? I don't know. I wanted to tell someone. And you're the closest to me. I never had a chance to. I don't know. Ah, a path's clear. I think we can cross now. Let's hurry. Are you sure? You'll be fine? What? Don't worry about me, Timmy. I'd be much more worried about yourself. Let's get going. I do want to save, because that was... Ooh. Oh, there's more. Okay. I was just saving over the first three. Okay, what's this way? Nothing. Okay, down? Down must be the way to go, then. <laughs> Shoot! Mm-hmm. Nope. Down again? No thanks. Oh, shoot. I wanted to tr see what these other ways were first. Oh, that just leads around there. Okay. Must be up. Aha! Indeed. Indomitable. Is there a secret door here? No? It just definitely looked like there should be one. Okay. Ooh, this looks scary. 
Diggy 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 diggy. Doink. Oh, hello. Hi. It's me, Lavender. It's not a dead end? Well, unless you count the giant ominous hole in the wall. But I don't think either of us want to pass on. This is the passing on place, right? Shouldn't he be here? Yeah, that's what the Reaper told us. Do you think I took a wrong turn somewhere? Look at my map. Shh! Someone's coming! Get in my pocket. Shh! Shh, they're coming! They're coming! Taking the Hobbist Isengard! Hmm? Who are you? Are you the baker? No. That's odd. Because you sound exactly like him. I don't want any trouble. Just let me through, please. Not until you tell me who you are. I'm a hard-working reaper. I spent years collecting spirit energy so I can pass on. The last time I checked, reapers don't glow. I don't know what you're talking about. Baker, I can literally see the soul glowing from your eye holes. Give it up. Give what up? You... Uh, look! If you don't take off your mask, then I'll take it off by force. Ah! Okay, okay. This, this soul doesn't belong to me. But it doesn't belong to you either. Huh? This soul belonged to a ghost until I reaped them. You murdered that ghost. I don't see why you should get a second chance at life. Uh, no. That's not why I want the soul. Huh? Timmy! Mr. Baker, that soul belongs to me. Please give it back. What in bread? A talking ghost? He's my brother. He lost his soul when he came here. I found him and tried to get his soul back so he can go home. But then you misunderstood. So it really does run in the family. What? Your cheek marks. Your birthmarks on your cheek, the swirly bits. So, you believe me. You'll give it back. Of course I do. Hold on, I'll just need to take it out. Aw, the baker's nice. It's stuck. Try harder. It's not working. I think you need to come over here and help. Uh-oh. Fine. Timmy, stay back. Just put your hand under the... Okay. You can put your hand under the mask with... <sighs> Lucky I jumped. You think I'd fall for that twice? It's a worthy try. It's a worthy try. You really did a number on my mask, huh? Guess I'll need it. I don't need it anymore. He discards it. I'm not giving up this life, Lavender. I want to go home. So does he. I don't really care about your brother. But you should know that if you're going to try and take the soul off me, well, let's just say I've been here a lot longer than you. I've used all the energy from the bakery to complete my spirit, Lavender. I can wipe you out in one blow, just step aside and let me through. I'm not moving. When Grim is when Grim is com when is Grim coming? And I suppose I have no choice. I really didn't want to fight you, Lavender. Oh shit. T Timmy, what are those? What are you doing? I've learned a thing or two from being a ghost, sis. I can help you from the sidelines. What? No way! Just trust me. Just whatever you do, stay behind me. Gotcha. Aww. Yes. Help cheer you can do it oh I'm I'm the, just the ghost you could do it you could do it I believe we're just gonna stand here and dodge oh here we go no nope. okay swing then you can do it Okay, this is cool. I like Timmy's little helping. That's nice. A reaper like you... Wait. A reaper like you, Baker, can only perform special moves. If he swings right, it seems poison or pierce. 
Uh oh. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Evading? Yes. Help. Warm. Look out! Oh, warn. No, bud. Oh, no, shit. Oh, one hit. I literally am dead. Okay. No. I. I won't let you. <gasps> Lavender! Please stop. No. Is that supposed to happen? Lavender. Wake up. Oh no. Please wake up. I. Grim. You. You're here. Quick, you gotta do something. The baker, he was just. He was just. He was. He is gone. Yes, I received your message, but if it isn't too much to ask of you, a current of you in your current state, would you mind explaining to me what has happened in your own words? Um. You explained to him that you were traveling in a cave with him until the both of you had stumbled upon a ghost with a soul. He stole the soul, trying to to go back to his life, but he had chased him down for it. You fought, but he, he went back to life. But you can bring him back, right? You can just go through there and take him back. Or you could just talk to, I don't know, God or something. Ask them nicely to bring him back. I just want the best for, my, for Timmy. They've already mentioned this to you. I cannot do either of those things. I cannot pass the barrier to the true afterlife, nor can I contact anyone there. What can you do? Nothing. At this point, nothing. Nothing will bring him back. Nothing. Not a thing. No, no. Lavender, I'm sorry to interrupt you. But what happened? Really? Why the sorrow? Were you hoping for a chance at life too? No, I mean, yes. Lavender, you've been lying to me since you came here. You lied to me about the walk. You lied to me when you said you were okay. Please, confide in me. I don't have the energy to keep secrets anymore. The truth is, the, 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 the truth is, the soul belonged to my brother Timmy. You can come out now. Are you, are you sure? I'm sure. Sad hours. Hello, Mr. Grimm. Please don't hurt me. That won't be necessary, Timmy. For now. What do you mean, for now? It stands to reason that since Timmy has only lost his soul recently, he is only an early ghost. That explains why he isn't hostile like other ghosts. Until your brother starts showing signs of that, he is transforming into a hostile ghost. He can keep him around Will whilst I look for a solution. Uh, Lala? Signs? Well, it begins small. Lala. Typically, there's a slight chance in their appearance. Lavender! What is it? That only gradually gets worse. Put me in your pocket. Unfortunately, there's an absolute flip in their personality. Why, why, you just came out. Please, Lavender, I'm not feeling too good. Oh no. Why are you both whispering? What is the matter? Nothing's wrong, I swear. It's fine, everything's fine. Really? Grim, what's happening? To me. It seems that the time is much sooner than I thought. Lavender, I hate to, I hate to say it, Ha 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 ha! But if you want the best for your brother, we should reap him soon. Are you kidding me? Listen to me. If we let your brother fully transform, the both of you will suffer immensely. It is better to end it now than let the situation get worse. No, I can't. 
I can't let you do that. That's the one thing I've been trying to prevent. There is no other way. You... you don't know that. I have given you your options, Lavender. I do not want to take him by force. Don't make me choose. Come on, please. Don't let me choose. I don't want to choose. Really? That's a shame, because I'm not moving. And I'm not saying goodbye. You're letting your emotions control you, Lavender. You need to get a hold of yourself. If you do not say goodbye to him now, you will regret this. Come on, Timmy. Get behind me. So be it. Oh, shit. I have one health. What if I were to do nothing? What then? You, were, you and your brother would be alone, and he would turn hostile, and you would be forced to reap him. Oh, Grim, I'm sorry. And, and you exactly... And you expect me to hand over my brother to die? This is the problem with all your reaper... Re this is the problem with all you reapers. You all seem to forget that you are already dead. Oh no. Pa... Passed out. No, I, I won't give up. I can't let myself faint. La, er, la, la, where are you? Help. You are still awake. Lavender. No. Lavender. Lavender, stop! You cannot pass on yet. Your spirit isn't strong enough. I want to go home. Well, that explains that. We hired a new substitute baker. When others in inquired about what happened, the previous baker I said he passed on. It is rare for me to put in such a situation where I feel shame, a sense of wrongdoing. But it is there where, whenever I think about the chaotic situation that happened that day. I am frightened that if I tell the truth, then others will try something similar, knowing that one managed to do so. The only trust I feel is, the, is for one reaper, and she has disappeared from the hollow. Instead... She has seemed to make the caves her new home. Try as you might to bring her here, and she is done. She is, sh and all she does is reap, 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 one after another, one after the other, tirelessly. Every now and then, another reaper sees her and becomes startled. Oh no! They get frightened. I gave her an option to wear a mask. She declined. Declined by ignoring my presence. She does not speak anymore. But sometimes, even her relentlessness, relentless drive fails her and she passes out. No one is bothered to help her out or wake her up. They find her scary. So I teleport her to the hollow and tuck her in. I leave her cookies and milk. I know it doesn't compensate for what I've done. I do not expect her to forgive me. But when I come back, she's gone again. So are the cookies. Ah, sometimes, sometimes, the just uh, she just sits in front of the gates of passing, as if waiting or remembering. If only I could. No, it's too late. Not even I. C not even I can bring back the dead. The only thing I can do is live with my mistakes. Aww. Aww, that's cute. I know there's like multiple endings to this game too, but that's, I think there's, what, eight endings? And I, this is the ending I got, and I, I, I love it. I loved that ending. Even though it's sad, I think, I don't know how the other endings go, but this is, I think this is one of the best ones for me. Just because of how sad it is. That's cute. 
That's awesome. Oh, special thanks to my family and friends supporting me. Yeah, thank you for playing. Oh man, this is cute. Oh, oh damn. And anything else? Lavender's hair is lavender. No, I'm good. Are you sure? Go to title screen. Okay. This is going to be the end of Grimm's Hollow. That was cute, and I loved it. I can't say enough about this game. I, um, there's, if you want to go see other endings, I'm not going to be doing anymore. This is the ending I got, so I'm going to leave this here. I love it. Grimm's Hollow, it's it's a really cute game, and if you want to go play it, it's free. On, it was free on Steam. I don't know if they've if they've changed it to cost money or if it's not on Steam anymore in the future. But right now, it's free on Steam, so go play it for yourself. Get a different ending, whatever. But, if you like this episode, don't forget to tap that like button. And if I don't see you have a freaking good one, but for now, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye-bye.